Hi, my name is Dave, and I am building a Mark 3.1, number 6882. And I'm doing this video to have some of the guys that have built a car before kind of go over my assembly and see if there's anything that I'm missing, doing wrong. And uh, so here we go. So this is the front end that I've done. Um, these are parts from a 95 uh, Mustang GT. I've reused the rotor, caliper, and steering. Everything else is new. I've rebuilt the caliper and I've used new rubber inside, um, new seals inside, using new pads and new brake hose. The rotor just sanded it down. Uh, the spindle is also being reused. I haven't gone through the spindle. I've uh, cleaned it up and repainted it and tried to just get it um, new, I guess. The tie rod ends, those are from Factory 5. The bellows, I'm reusing the bellows. I've put the extension on the inside. Uh, this is a 95 spindle. I've torqued the brackets. I purchased grade 8 bolts for the uh, bracket assembly. I haven't done anything with the upper control arm. I'll kind of get the settings close uh, in the future. I just want you to look at it and see if this is the correct orientation. Is there something that I should be doing now? Did I put my ball joint in uh, correctly? I see that that's a constant topic on the forum. And the lower one as well. Uh, this castle nut, I was having trouble torquing. If there's any kind of hints that you can have or give me on how to torque the castle nuts without the ball joint spinning. Uh, I realize right now that there's extra threads shown in this upper control arm but again I haven't done anything to uh, set that alignment yet. Uh, nor have I done anything with the tie rod ends. Okay the bushings, the lower control arm bushings, I extended the steel bushing inside in order to be able to reach the uh, metal flanges. Uh, even my you know, torque marking, I've never marked anything for torque before, so I realize that may not be the right side. Though so I've also done it on the other side, but the outside would be a little easier appearance. Uh, this one back here has uh, extra spacing in it to accommodate the extra gap. And you know this um, this little bracket right here. I'm not sure. Do I do I take off this little C clip in order to put the clip on the other side of the bracket in order to hold the hose in place? I've done something similar on on this side. I took that clip, just unbent it in order to keep it contained in the bracket which I'll then rivet in place. Okay, that's all that I have right now for the front end. I will move on to another video with other areas of the car. Thank you.